sustained inflation. They are one means to um, establish an FRC in um, preterm babies. It has been studied in animals, uh, in animal experiments, and there is a limited experience in preterm babies. And uh, it is generally thought that uh, a sustained inflation would help to push down the fluid, the amniotic fluid, towards the alveoli and to recruit uh, gases, uh, functional residual capacity. And that would help uh, to oxygenate the baby and uh, to improve its condition. And the whole issue is uh, about stabilizing the baby to, in, to enable the baby to breathe spontaneously and uh, eventually uh, limit uh, respiratory support thereafter. Well, the, we know from the clinical studies uh, that uh, there are limited experience. There is limited experience from the clinical study because the numbers of the randomized controls are very small. And so far, we know that uh, it is a possibility or it's a means to establish FRC. Um, we don't know whether or not there is uh, a relationship between side effects and uh, using um, sustained inflations. Therefore, I guess we need more and larger randomized control trials. Um, they are urgently needed to uh, get more information on this. Well, I think uh, at this time, there's no way you can recommend generally to use sustained inflation. Some people use it, and they use it based on you know, their own experience, based on uh, physio physiological considerations. Um, but I think there's no way at that time to recommend it for general, uh, for general use in neonatology. I think the most important issue is that you have the right personnel at the right time and you need to be prepared and uh, you have the equipment ready and checked and um, you are prepared for the situation I guess.